Bonjour. Uh, bonjour. <laughs> well, well, welcome in Brussels. What will be your lecture about? The lecture is about um, the Italian uh, scholar and explorer and philosopher Tucci, Giuseppe Tucci, who is often considered to be the founder of the studies of Tibet, so Tibetology. He visited Tibet from 1926 through 1948 through eight expeditions to Tibet and six to Nepal. He traveled many, many thousands of miles by foot and horseback, uh, covering every corner of the Tibetan cultural sphere, which goes from Western Pakistan to Sikkim, Bhutan. He left us a tremendously important body of his own research, as well as a collection of paintings, manuscripts, and photographs each expedition averaged about six months and had always an expedition photographer. And the result is 15,000 photographs that we have catalogued over 30 years and probably the single most important collection of Tibetan painting in the world because the collections in Tibet were very much destroyed, as the world knows, and in the Western world no one had been and collected in, in Tibet itself before Tucci's. But all the paintings that he collected were paintings that had been put out of use by the monasteries because they were damaged or they belonged to collections, to series of paintings that were incomplete. So they all have some sort of damage. And it took the museum uh, whose collection I have worked on, which was the museum founded by Tucci, in Rome, 35 years to conserve the 125 paintings that came from this, his Tucci collection. And that's what I'll be talking about. I'll be talking about the paintings, about some of the photographs from the expeditions, and Tucci's contribution to the study of Tibetan art. How would you describe its uh, legacy? He opened the door. I think that's, that's what you can say, that he was the first to, well, to travel that whole extent, to see all the great monuments. He learned from the original sources, the written sources, but also the monuments. He, he literally discovered these places for the Western world. Do you know why he was so interested about Tibet? He was a sort of genius. He published his first article when he was 17 on ancient Greek, or Roman was it? Maybe Roman, Greek or Roman, I don't remember. Inscriptions from the, his part of his native place in Italy. And after having sort of conquered ancient Greek and Latin, he went on to Chinese, where he, he studied Chinese philosophy and Chinese philosophy eventually led him to Buddhism, and then he wanted to read the original Buddhist text, so he read uh, the Sanskrit, and then he discovered that the really living religion of Buddhism, especially the esoteric traditions, the tantric traditions, were the Tibetan traditions. Of course, the Japanese had it too, or have it too, but he was interested in the, in the Sanskrit cultural world. Uh, so that led him to Tibet. And then he had the chance, after meeting the great poet Tagore, to be sent to, Italy by, uh, to India by the Italian government, where he, where he encountered living Buddhism for the first time in Sikkim. And uh, then he was hooked, as we say in American, and uh, one thing, as life goes, one thing leads to another. He, was, he kept wanting to learn more and more and discover more and more, and so it just went on until he was 89. <laughs> 89? Yeah. Oh. Can you tell us about your book? Well, the book is uh, about Tucci's expeditions, 
and it's uh, actually a catalog for the, it's written like a book, but it was meant to accompany or is meant because the exhibition will be, has been in Italy and will be in New York in February of 2018 at the Asia Society. And it, the, the book catalog accompanies the exhibition. So in the first half, it, uh, essays explain Tucci and his time, the expeditions, there's a map, which alone took us 20 years to, to get all the information for, that shows the eight Tibetan journeys and the monasteries that he visited, the places that he visited. And, it dis and I also try to uh, explain how to understand Tibetan art uh, for people who have no experience. And then there is the catalog of the uh, 65 exhibited paintings and the 63 other paintings in the museum. And uh, through the entries, we discuss uh, for each painting what it means, what its style is, what its history is. So, and the book has as many as possible uh, photographs from the expeditions that show what the world, the traditional Tibetan world looked like when Tucci was there and before the Cultural Revolution when it was completely destroyed. You know, 90% of the cultural treasures of Tibet were destroyed during the Cultural Revolution.